Hey everybody, I haven't done a how-to video in a while, so I thought I would do one on the Minim OSD. There's this blue board over here. Um, there are a lot of different types of firmware you can flash on this board. I like to use KVOSD. Uh, the latest version I believe is 2.2, and it works really well. I get clean characters on the bottom of my field of view, and it's not in the way of what I'm trying to look at when I'm flying. So quickly to go over how this is set up. Um, the first thing you need to do is to supply 5 volts and ground connections to the 5 volt side of the minimum OSD board. The other two pins here are transmit and receive, which get connected to your NASI 32. You can grab um, header pins on your NASI 32 for transmit and receive, which you can see right here, the red and the yellow wires. Just make sure that the transmit pin on your NASI board goes to the receive pin on your minimum OSD and vice versa the receive pin on your NASI goes to the transmit pin on your minimum OSD. If you get them backwards things won't work properly but you're not going to break anything so don't worry about it too much. Um, for 5 volt power there's an exposed pad on the NASI 32 board right here and you can just solder a wire straight to that pad. Alternatively, you can grab 5 volts from one of the um, locations for connecting your motors. If you're only using four of the locations, you can grab 5 volts from there. Um, for ground, you can also use one of the exposed ground uh, pads that aren't being used for six motors. Since this is a quad, I have two sets of exposed pins. So that's it for the 5 volt side of your board. Um, the other side is your video side. Um, really all you need here is uh, video in and video out. So for video in um, I like to use a power distribution board and really all this is doing is it receives power from my NASI 32 and it goes through a linear voltage regulator so I can run 4S batteries and still get 12 volts out on this side. So 12 volts going back to my camera right here and these three pins are really all connected in three different sets, uh, three different rows. So I can connect three different devices, get ground, power, and video. These are all connected among the three different devices I plug in here. So when I plug in my camera, it's grounded, it gets 12 volts, and the camera video signal is relayed through all three rows here. So the second row sends the video signal from the camera to the KVOSD in, which is right there. The OSD out simply goes to my video transmitter. And in this case, I'm using a Fat Shark transmitter, and it's receiving power independently straight to my distribution board underneath my flight controller. So you will need to flash your Minim OSD. Um, to do that, download the Arduino software and flash hitting the upload button once you've connected your Minim OSD through these pins using an FTDI to USB adapter. Last thing, optionally, you can add um, another wire right here to give yourself RSSI display on your OSD. If you're using a FreeSky D4R2 receiver, which I am over here, um, with pins number three and four jumpered, signal pin number two outputs RSSI. So you can feed that to your OSD at this location and in the KV OSD GUI you can tell it that you want to have RSSI displayed. There's a modification to make the quality of the signal more accurate, which requires a couple of resistors and a capacitor. I haven't done that here, and admittedly, the accuracy of the signal is not great, um, but I don't really rely on it that much. It's just something you can play with. If you feel like it, I might end up removing this to save some wiring and weight. First thing you have to do when you get your Minim OSD is to solder headers on. Um, this usually comes with right angle headers, but since we're working on such a small platform, I like to use vertical headers instead. You can either use a soldering clamp like this, or you can 
use a block of wood. What I like about a block of wood is this doesn't require any tape to hold the headers in place. You simply take the block of wood and the headers and put it down. Um, that'll keep them in place and you can adjust whether or not the headers are vertical and start soldering. Okay, so our header's all done and soldered up. If you want your wiring to look cleaner and don't want to have headers on the top of your board, you can connect the transmit and receive wires from your OSD to the bottom side of your board. Um, the header pins go through, so you can add some solder to the exposed copper on the bottom of the board and then solder your two wires on the bottom like this. If you like, you can solder the power and ground wires for your OSD to the bottom pins that are exposed for your ESC connections. This will work if you have a quadcopter or a hexacopter since you can solder to ports that are already used for ESC connections. If you do this, make sure you get the wires routed away from the mounting hole so your threaded standoff clears everything else. So once you have everything soldered up, you can put your board back in place. You can connect the cable that you've just attached to RX, TX, ground and power on your Nazi 32 to your OSD. And I'm going to set this up so all of my video equipment is on the front of my frame as opposed to the back. Here's my video camera. The video camera signal is going to go on the inside for the OSD. And depending on what transmitter you're using, you want video out for your transmitter connected to the outside row of headers. And that's it. Button everything up and you should be ready to fly.